What's up, what's up, family? Today's daily encouragement that I want to talk about today is our physical versus the spiritual, right? And the reason why I want to talk about this is because in every situation that we have in life, you oftentimes you see it in movies or, or, or sitcoms or things like that where you have a devil on one side, the angel on another side. And that happens every single day because we have choices that we have to make throughout every single moment of the day, right? So when we make those decisions, we're either going in a direction that's towards God or we're going in a direction that's towards the devil. And oftentimes our, our physical, the things that we can actually see, we see that battle and then that's one part of it. But then there's another part of the battle that's the spiritual, the part that we don't see. And the thing about it is that sometimes things in the physical look one way and then you end up in a situation like, dang, man, I, sh I should have listened to my to my intuition. I should listen to my gut. I should have never did that. Or I should have went ahead and took that opportunity or whatever it may be, right? But that's why it's so important for us to be tapped in with our spiritual side, for us to have a, a relationship with God so that we can receive the Holy Spirit and so we can have the discernment that we need when we're going throughout our day, throughout our life, making these decisions. Because sometimes the devil, not sometimes, the devil is always trying to trick us. He's always trying to trick us, but if we don't get hit and get on game to what he's doing, then we'll be behind, we'll be behind the eight ball every time. Every time we make a one step, he already two steps ahead of us. So we never catching on to, to start seeing the blessings, to start seeing the, the favor in your life. Because just like, again, we always talk about this, you reap what you sow. So if you make good decisions, you will see blessings in your life. If you are obedient to what God calls us to do every single day, you will see blessings in your life. And that goes down to decisions that we make every single day. We're either going to make decisions that's going to be in favor of the devil or decisions that's going to be in favor of the kingdom of God. And so we have to be able to stop in those moments and say to ourselves, what do I need to do right here? You know, um, and, and I actually talked about this in one of my books. It came up with the acronym called STOP. STOP, THINK, OUTCOMES, POSSIBILITIES. So when you get to a fork in the road with making a decision, you have to stop, think, okay, what are the outcomes if I go right? What are the outcomes if I go left? And then from that point, what are the possibilities from each situation? That will allow us to be able to really have that hindsight view without actually going through something and then looking back and saying, I should have, could have, would have did this or did that. But if we get in touch with our spiritual side, that's what's gonna allow us to be able to, to really go a step further in life and, and, and be a step ahead of the, the devil to be able to step on his head and crush him because it's all a, a tactic that he has every single day. That's what he's doing is roaring every single day to see how can I devour them? How can I take, break them away from their family? How can I break a marriage apart? How can I break a friendship, a family member relationship apart? How can I drive a coworker and a, another coworker apart, a boss? And it, it's so many different levels that he's trying to do that every single day. So we have to be aware of that in every single situation. And sometimes our pride can get in the way of that because we're like, oh, you know, I don't, I don't, this person not about to say something to me like that, or this person not going to do that. But at the end of the day, it's all about love. It's all about harmony. That's what it's, it's based on. So in every single situation, sometimes it can feel like we're the lesser person, but we have to know that love wins. Love conquers all. So whatever situation that we're in, we have to realize, choose God. But in those situations when it's difficult for us to choose another person over ourselves, we have to choose love. And sometimes love is, is bowing out gracefully, bowing out peacefully, because you have to keep your peace. And once you do that time after time, then people will realize in themselves what's wrong. You know, those opportunities that they may have. So that's my encouragement that I want to share with you guys today. Physical versus spiritual. And there's so much more that's tied into that, but I don't want to go too deep into it. But I just want you guys to, to really think about that as you're going through your day, Really stop and think about the possibilities from each outcome that you can select in your life, whether good or bad, and realize like, okay, the devil is trying to deceive us every single day, every single time that he could do it. So choose wisely with your decisions and God will bless you going forward. To God be the glory. Peace. Love you, love. Brr.